Um, I'm pretty sure the ship is sinking, so if the creatures don't kill us, drowning surely will. Adios, amigos. Can you help a fellow out here? I'm not quite ready to unleash the beast, <laughs> so I'm looking for a bit of sport. I think I saw some of it once, long ago in Cambodia. I was hitting the you-know-what quite hard, so I kind of thought I was just hallucinating. My speciality is chemistry, with an alchemical bent. I cannot explain these events any more rationally than you. Actually, that's not true. But I'm just not in the mood. Handle myself. Handle myself. What are you insinuating? I am more than capable. All this violent insanity and blood-soaked decks aside, I really do hope the captain was able to send a distress message. Oh, so much blood. Oh, I, I can't stand it. <coughs> Honestly, it makes me want to puke my lungs up. I seem like someone who is carefully analyzing the emergent reality around them in order to better understand how he or she may improve their situation. Scarlet, if I'm honest, I, I, I could really do with some of my medicine. Just to take the edge off. Well, Monsieur Delacroche, I actually do mind you inquiring. Besides, look at what is happening right now! Uh, they attack in waves of ever-increasing ferocity. Then there's a lull, like this one. Then something worse happens. It's all part of some quest that various individuals and whole societies have been searching for for months. No, not months, millennia, years, decades even. It was an accident, a deeply unlikely and improbable accident. But let's just close the curtain on that particular issue for now. This exhibit is closed. Prima materia, the foundation of all creation, the building blocks of life itself. Oh, that's a toughie. I'm not really thinking clearly at the moment, probably because of all the, you know, but I do know Alistair was very, very sorry about what happened to you. Gutted, in fact. I know that symbol. Not that I'd tell you what it means. Just saying I know what it means. It's a sequence. We must complete it. Hmm, four symbols in total. Dare I wonder what happens on the fourth? Oh, look. It's kind of adorable. I kill the monsters, get paid points. You said points to pay a wall for bullets. What kind of economy is that? So the wall can spontaneously generate ammo directly into a confined, in-motion space within my weapon. That's bonkers, frankly. More ammunition! I was happy to pay for it. Not a word of a lie. Any chance the great beyond assist me with more ammo? I know you can hear me! <sighs> Weapon's almost empty. Just, just, just not your day, is it sure? No, certainly is not. We must find fresh munitions. If only so I can avoid the indignity of dying. Oh, low ammo. I'm 99% sure that's not a good thing. I really should have been more careful with all those bullets. Too late now. You see, Shaw, I told you you'd run out of ammo. And what did you do? Nothing! Based on past experiences, fighting these creatures without ammunition is... Yeah... Unwise? No ammunition. I should get more. Sooner rather than later. I guess it's time to bite the bullet. If only I had one. Oh, splendid. No ammunition. That's just dandy. Another multi-purposeful invention from Scarlet. She is very good at this kind of thing. A modified mobile defensive barrier. If only there was a simple one-word way to describe it. I don't remember Alistair being so good at making things. I mean, he did some odd jobs, but that's not the same. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you kept your grubby little paws away from me. Get away from me. You're worse than urchins. That is quite enough from you, Slappy Daniels. Bugger, I think you just popped one of my buttons. Ugh, I've got gunk all over me. I can't even begin to identify what it is. Ooh, I've not felt the touch of another since she left me. Not much before, either. That will leave a bruise. I hate bruises. They make my tattoos all wonky. That would have hurt a lot more if I wasn't on the right medication. Given your limited language skills, is it possible your attacks are an attempt to say hello? I should probably say hello back. <sighs> Don't you know the face is the second most fragile part of the body? Oh, I've got an absolute 
bastard of a headache, and this banging isn't helping. I've got an absolutely horrible headache, and this banging isn't helping. Just got to be careful not to hit my thumb. Ow! Oh, fuck! Just got to be careful not to hit my thumb. Ow! Oh! Honestly, I'm just pissing in the wind here. Based on past experience, these boards will do little to hold back the undead. They can be very persistent. This was such a beautiful ship. I feel bad hammering it full of nails. Oh, looks like they had a rough go of it back here. Packed in like sardines. Is it dead? Have we slain the beast? You can fuck right off, you stabby-legged minge bag. You can run right off, you stabby-legged minge bag. I'd keel over too if I looked like you. No more mafficking about for you, you pus-filled, four-legged twat monster. No more mafficking about for you, you pus-filled, four-legged monster. Piss off, you bracket-faced quadruped. Go away, you bracket-faced quadruped. Oh, shite. Does somebody else want to deal with that thing? Oh, grand. Um, does anyone else want to deal with that thing? How many of those bloody giants are there? Can someone please shoot that pus-filled, giraffe-legged donkey cow? Ah, I see my ex-wife has graced us with her presence again. How does that vomitous blighter even stay upright? Perfect. Something even more unpleasant. This is not the end. I do not drown in vomit. Unhand me, you... You... Oh, hell. Untung me. Unhand me, you... You... Oh! Untung me! Right. St <laughs> Stay calm. You're a scientist. Stay... No! Take that, you quadrupedal wanker! Take that, you quadrupedal monster! Lance those boils on its back! Doctor's orders! Looks like it has a weak spot on its shoulders! Achilles pimples, if you will. <laughs> Not only is my past drowned in blood, my future continues to bathe in it. I think we're pretty much at the mercy of whatever this cabinet of abominations deems to chuck at us. Oh, I could probably bring down a bloody elephant with this. But that would be cruel and pointless. Honestly, a weapon this heavy actually just helps keep my hands steady. Last time I held a gun like this, I accidentally shot a Prussian musketeer right in the ghoulies. His wife was very upset. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what you are. Question is, who made you? I get the feeling you could be very dangerous if you were in a uh, normal-sized body. Goodness me, you've got a dirty mouth. Oh, I like you. I bet you could tell some stories. By the way, I'm not interested in hearing them. Yes, yes, I know it's okay to be angry every now and again, but constantly, it's not good for anyone. Ah, when Scarlet was little, Alistair bought her something quite similar as a gift. Maybe not the best idea. Ooh, I get it. It's a game of chance. I'll be watching for any sign of statistical inconsistencies. Oh, dear. This looks dreadfully loud. Yes, a rocket launcher. To be truthful, I'm not sure I should be trusted with it. I'm not sure what would kill me first. A clumsy misfire or a clumsy trip down the stairs. Oh, boy. I'm about to give those beasts a proper thrashing. Ah, yes. A large tube. Thanks. Ha! Let's see them try to nibble my niblets now. <laughs> oh, my. This weapon is, uh, rather large, isn't it? <laughs> well... This is disproportionately out of proportion. <laughs> Can barely stand up straight. <sighs> Terrible inconvenience. Right then, I hope this doesn't leave my arms all sore. My arms are very important. I use them for, um, uh, all sorts of things. <sighs> look at my face. Do I look like someone who's used to having good things happen? I'm watching this pile of bones and meat matter carefully this time. Bollocks! Curious. The machine modulates at the molecular level, creating a chemical implosion. Oh, but why? It's very inconvenient. Ah, well, not the first time someone I liked abandoned me. Useless, like a chocolate prophylactic. No, wait, I meant... What do you call those things? Fire guard, like a chocolate fire guard. Exactly. Oh, come on. I could probably shoot myself in the head with this and not feel a thing. I felt a pervading sense of dread all day. <laughs> now I know why. Oh, that's just perfect. I'll use it as backup if I run out of small stones and pebbles. Hmm? Uh, can I give this back? Is that an option? Can I just pop it back in the box, you know? Hello? 
Can anyone hear me? It must be the artifact. It's transmogrified the passengers to create a box. <laughs> yes, yes. Time to go shake a flannel at these vile, vile creatures. Chemists really shouldn't get their hands dirty. Especially not with splatters of blood. Bruno, uh -uh. Bruno likes these. He told me, they get the job's done. <laughs> I remember that night at R. Sings. Blotto Benny started playing around with one of these. <clears throat> he recovered well, despite the no-face thing. Ah, yes, the shotgun. England's preferred method for addressing a rodent problem. Yes, first time I held a gun like this, I kind of uh, fired in all directions. And, 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 and nobody was hurt. Not a single person. Everyone lived. Not one injury. Oh, considering what I could have been given, I'm going to consider myself satisfied. <laughs> right, so apparently this is called a submachine gun. Good. I may need it to work underwater. Right, so between my shaky hands and this firearm's considerable kick, it might be a good idea to stand well clear. I want off this ship. Is this going to help me achieve that goal? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, sharpshooting was never really a strong point of mine. Nor blunt shooting. Um, if such a thing exists. Oh, Evelyn would laugh if she saw me now. Stop it, stop it! We don't care what she thinks, Shaw. Not anymore. Wait a minute. Are there any areas actually wide enough on this ship to make using a sniper rifle an effective strategy? It's like a fire poker. I suppose it could make a good bludgeon. Why does this rifle look like it should come with a really thick manual that I will never bother reading? I'm not even sure how this works. Presumably, it'd still point and uh, pull the trigger. This weapon looks rather smart. Maybe later models won't even require an operator. Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. Yes. I don't actually know what it is. I'm just trying to stay optimistic. One thing I know for sure, <clears throat> it's never a good idea to operate machinery while, uh, while, uh, while, uh, <clears throat> in my condition. At what point do these things become overkill? Well, I'm certainly prepared if we end up picking a fight with Long John Silver. The inventor of this must have been stark raving positively mad. I mean, just look at it. Whoa, three barrel cannon. Give me a second just to let my eyes focus. Oh, chalk up one more for the Legionnaire. You're very good at this, Bruno. I'm finding myself feeling a little bit insecure. With Bruno popping heads left, right and centre, I could probably give myself a little break. Hey, Bruno, that one just decided to have a lie down. Nice headshot, Bruno. Not to brag, but I'm sure I've bagged more than one myself today. Alistair told me about you, Bruno, but I'm a little surprised he never once used the term Brute. Are you angry, Bruno? It's really hard to tell. Slow down a little, Bruno. We don't want to flood the decks with blood, do we? Bruno, wow. I reckon you've shattered at least 46 bones in the last 10 seconds. Easy, Bruno. You're starting to get a bit indiscriminate. It scares me. Oh, you know, Bruno, it's probably best not to let yourself get surrounded. Didn't they teach you that at, uh, what it got, uh, soldier school? Come on, lad. Put on a proper show. Start swinging. Fuck the Marquis of Queensbury. Come on, lad. Put on a proper show. Start swinging. Are you following orders, Bruno? Did someone tell you to stand down? This is your chance to give them a proper hiding. Go in for the kill. It's making me nervous just watching you, Bruno. You look absolutely fucked. It's making me nervous just watching you, Bruno. You look absolutely done for. There he goes, the daft bugger. Out with a bang. Good show. I guess the old saying rings true. You really can't take it with you. Oh, these weapons look priceless. Heaven knows why I'm trusted with them. <laughs> They're just big bloody rings. How dangerous could they be? Remember, Shaw, decapitate them, not yourself. Who's up for a nice game of ring toss? Oh, my two best friends when the shit hits the fan. My two best friends when it hits the fan. <laughs> and they all fall down. It chains its kills. Is it self-aware? Um, if you would like to do the rest for me, I won't stop you. <laughs> Vengeance is a tricky thing. How do you know when to stop? Bang, 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 bang! 
Quick work! Invincibility is mine! Slice and dice, my blades. Slice and dice. Establishing a perimeter. That's a thing people say, yes? Hoo-hoo. Got to try out my chakram thingy. Ah! The spinning revenger blades of doom have recharged. Ugh, feels like the chakrams are readier than ever. Hang on! Iceberg! We just collided with a bloody great iceberg! Oh no, I'm getting flashbacks. Horrible ones at that. It's really starting to feel like that terrible Cambodia business all over again. <sighs> Good Lord! Did everyone else see what just happened? Wait, it may just be my so-called senses deceiving me. I'll be okay in a minute. Wait, what? Did everyone else just see what happened? Wait, it may just be my so-called senses deceiving me. I'll be okay in a minute. I gave my heart away once. It returned to me more decrepit than this. The last time I had a flaming skull. Well, let's just say that particular police investigation was dropped. As the old saying goes, you can never have enough feet. Ha! Good luck slapping me without your hand. Now I am the slapper. Ah, a condenser and a coil. Never leave home without them. Your crawling days are over, Floor Admiral. No more rugs to ruin. No more landscapes of linoleum to conquer. Oh, just shut your gob for fuck's sake. I can't hear myself think anymore. Oh, just shut your gob. I can't hear myself think anymore. Oh! Now you die. After all that fuss and bother. Typical. I hadn't heard that much screaming and moaning and slobbering since I rented that flat above a brothel. Another ankle biter subtracted from life's cosmic equation. Ooh, we should each claim a crawler and race them against each other. I'm naming mine Floor Admiral. Hmm, persistent bugger. You're not looking for your shoes down there, are you? Pretty sure they're history, chum. Um, excuse me. Are your legs off doing, uh, their own thing? I've been legless myself on more than one occasion, but never literally. Can you not smell yourself, mate? Deodorant is your friend. Haven't smelled anything that foul since I shit the bed. Haven't smelled anything that foul since I soiled the bed. Doesn't smell that bad. Try me after a week on the pipe. Now that's... Whoa! That is something special. <sighs> that's left me a bit lightheaded. Well, you know, more than usual. What exactly am I smelling? Is that you? Or me? There, you see? That's what I feel like when I eat a curry. Bollocks! I think my shield just broke. Scarlet, your contraption stopped working! I honestly thought their flesh and bone would break before my shield did. Did you wink when you shot him, Diego? I think you did. Wow! How far away was he? At least ten feet. Probably more. It's better to get it over quick, isn't it, Diego? That thing was dead before, but it's definitely more dead now. Deadier. Deader. Diego, imagine if any of your lovers actually knew the nasty things you got up to. I'm not even sure what happened there. One minute there were loads of them, the next... Whoa, they're all gone. See, Diego, kill them all! Uh, especially the ones nearest me. Oh, bravo, Signor Nicali! Don't know why I'm congratulating him. I could do the same thing if I tried hard enough. Bloody hell, Diego! You went through them like grass through a goose. Bloody Nora, Diego. You went through them like grass through a goose. No, oh, why can't I be all brave and macho like that? I should have a serious word with myself. Oh, yes, you're a human mincer, Diego. Ah, uh, that sounded better in my head. Right, I'm just going to watch how Diego deals with this. Maybe I'll pick up a few tips. I'm going to time how long it takes you to kill them all, Diego. Ready? Go. Careful, Diego. I think they're salivating even more than usual. Is this the climax of your story, Diego? If you die at the end, I don't want to know. Bloody hell, Diego. <sighs> Things aren't looking too promising for you. Bloody Nora, Diego. Things aren't looking too promising for you. This looks like some mutation transformation that went a bit wrong. Oh, oh dear, I pity the poor souls caught in the middle of it. <laughs> You're all in for quite a treat. We're being manipulated by powerful forces. In fact, I think we may be being corralled. Struth! How much gunpowder is packed in this thing? From a solid to a liquid. That's chemistry for ya! Bloody hell! I think I blew out an eardrum. Bloody Nora! I think I blew out an eardrum. Enemy destroyed! Aye, aye, sir! Ha-ha! Back to hell, meatbags! The dragon has spoken! Ah, nutty! Ooh, 
I've only honestly forgotten some of the recipes. I should really know what's in this. I did create it, after all. That one could have done with just a smidge more lemon, don't you think? Oh, that's maybe just a tad too strong. <gasps> Please work. Please work. Please work. I dabbled with such elixirs for the Germans, you know. They were, uh... <sighs> Uninterested. Mmm, salty. Ah, chunky too. Haha, <laughs> bonus. Enhance me, elixir of power. Mmm, tastes like uh, bleach and glue. I should probably try to improve on that. Ooh, a hint of pomegranate. Or is that Pomeranian? Knowing my luck, that's either something good or we're going to die. So you're welcome and. Sorry, is this particular area giving anyone else the willies? <sighs> or is it just me? Oh, fucking hell! Where are my organs? Why can I only feel one kidney? Oh, right, there is only one. Where are my organs? Why can I only feel one kidney? Oh, right, there is only one. <sighs> my, my body dematerialized, then rebuilt instantaneously. I've been ripped across time and space. Oh, no, I'm still on the ship. Fuck me. I've been ripped across time and space. Oh, no, I'm still on the ship. Super. The artifact is capable of somehow inducing teleportation. Wonderful. My insides were out. My outsides were in. Who am I? What am I? Ooh, a fire show. Lovely. Bloody hell, this fish looks a bit off. This can't be what they served for dinner. Can it? Bloody Nora, this fish looks a bit off. This can't be what they serve for dinner. Can it? Goodness gracious me, did you see the suckers on that thing? Massive! Oh, damn and blast it all. Oh, blast it all. Oh, bugger. That's torn it. This absolutely will not stand. I demand a do-over. That is unacceptable. I am not having it. What? Oh, how did that go so very, very wrong? Ugh. That's unfortunate, to say the least. Oh, how predictably disappointing. Am I truly lost? Should I just give up now, embrace defeat, shutter the shades and curl up in a ball? <sighs> what if the others are right? What if I am useless? Well, we certainly cocked that up, didn't we? Oh, happy day. I should celebrate later, when I'm not at risk of imminent death. Well, of course that worked out exactly as planned. How could it not? Well, I suppose even a broke rock is clock twice a day. Oh, I'm far too modest and self-effacing to point out that that was almost entirely my doing. A win is a win is a win is a win. That actually worked. Is that good? It is. Are you sure? Yes, I knew it. Statistically speaking, we were bound to do something right eventually. Ah, I have good news. We just did the thing we were trying to do. Oh, I'm in a good mood now. A very good mood. Look, can you tell? Oh, I think I deserve a little reward. Little bit of medicine. Lovely. Ah, yes, the old wall sells you a gun trick. A classic. Physics, chemistry, surely they apply here. Though I'll be jiggered if I know how. Never mind turning lead into gold. Ha <laughs> I'm turning gold into lead. Either I've gone balmy, or this wall has. My money's on the wall. So, we've been given enemies and a means to destroy them. Is the man upstairs just having a laugh? An inanimate object manifests a complex mechanism out of thin air. And, wait a tick, it also took my money! Uh, uh, maybe you've taken a bit too much medicine, Shaw. Sure. That wall just sold you a firearm. I know this shape, these symbols. Oh, think, Shaw, think! Oh, that's a gorgeous shade of blue. You can get lost staring into the depths of that thing. If these walls could speak, they'd say, don't shoot it all in one place, fellas. Right. Whew. I forgot that walls do this sometimes. Bloody hell, that one's gone armless. Interesting strategy. Bloody Nora, that one's gone armless. Interesting strategy. Even with no arms, these worm brains are relentless. What is the sound of one hand clapping? No, seriously, now's our big chance to find out. Oh, that is poor play. Why aren't you dead? Is the missing arm not enough of a hint? Good luck tinkling the old ivories now. There, 
Now you've got something to scream about, you vomitous minge bag. Oh, I'm hoping I won't have to go up and down these stairs too often. Bit hard on the old knees. They couldn't make this bastard just a little lighter? They couldn't make this just a little lighter? So, does this thing make me thaw? Because my eye is so Odin. Oh, mortar and pestle time. Let's make some medicine. Time to turn the fleshies into mushies. Oh, let's play a game, shall we? It's called Baggers and Mash. The perfect tool for deconstruction projects. <laughs> oh, that was a bit sloppy. Need to work on my swing. <laughs> Knocked off his knob. Well, this is cathartic, if nothing else. Bollocks. Nearly lost my grip there. <sighs> That nearly took my arm off. Good grief, certainly don't get storms like this in London. Red skies at night, sailor's delight. Red blood on my hammer. Ah, fuck it, you're dead. Red skies at night, sailor's delight. Red blood on my hammer. Ah, uh, ah whatever, you're dead. Let's test your conductivity, shall we? Yes, yes, keep coming. Plenty of volts to go around. A short, sharp shock and all is done. Ah, sod it. Let's make it a long one! Hammer's all charged up like a battery. Or lightning in a bottle. Strange how the hammer of Valhalla needs time to build a charge. What's in there? Odin's capacitor? Yes, hammer, I feel you. I'll be calling down the lightning soon enough. You know what they say, hammer of Valhalla. In for a penny, in for a pounding. You ready, hammer? Time for a good whacking. I've not seen anything that angry since Evelyn discovered my secret compartment. I'm all for attacking indiscriminately. So long as you don't include me. It's a monstrosity. But at least it's our monstrosity. He's almost pocket-sized. Not that I'd want him anywhere near my, uh, bits and pieces. He's quite the little barbarian, isn't he? I blew you to bits. Bits. That's all you are now. Could use a sprinkle more of trinitroanisole, I think. C7H5N306 with perhaps a touch of NI3. <gasps> That's wonderful! I'm not, 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 not normally this destructive. <clears throat> Except to myself. That sounded a lot wetter than an explosion really should. That was a mercy killing. A mercy for me. I couldn't stand another minute of your incessant squawking. That was almost as satisfying as threading a needle. And I didn't even have to lick it first. I'm surprised my hands are that steady today. Normally, I can barely even hold a beaker without spilling something. Sever the head, leave it dead. The kids used to like my nursery rhymes. Did you hear that? There was a crunch, then a splook, and then a final little... Well, yes, I certainly took the egg on that one. That means I won. Oh, for a second, I thought I saw a little glint of light from the other side. You see, Evelyn? I do know how to deal with the neighbors. I think you should know I bear you no ill will. I'm just going along with everyone else. I had to shoot you. You reminded me a little bit too much of myself. Not that I don't like him. He's great! A lot better than the job I did on last year's turkey. I actually got a whiff of your breath there. Ah! Just imagine what I could have done with a fork. That was a joint effort. My thrust, your momentum. Did that surprise you? It did me! That is far closer than I'm comfortable with. Sorry! Euthanasia was the only option. Look what you've done to my knife! I'm going to have to clean that. How many times do you have to die? That's rhetorical. Don't come back just to answer. Shut your jabbering bone hole! Look! You got blood on me! You had better not be carrying the pox. You are testing my patience. You're very angry. Have you met my wife, Evelyn? That is enough out of you, Slappy Daniels. I've been really annoyed ever since you attacked me. An eye for an eye. Let's not bother with the part about teeth. Didn't see that coming, did you? I did. I watched the whole thing. I hope you'll find peace. Actually, that's not true. I hope you're suffering terribly. I don't want to play favorites, but you've had this coming for quite a while. That's what you get for doing what you did. Thought you could walk all over me. Didn't you? Thought I'd forgotten about you, didn't you? Sometimes you just have to be patient. I honestly don't think I've ever been this angry, happy, angry, happy at the same time. Woo! I don't want to jinx it, but I think I'm getting quite good at the whole fighting for survival thing. I've not felt this euphoric since I stood up to the school bully. I told the teacher. Yeah! Yep, this definitely feels a lot like Cambodia. What a bad trip that was! Woo! 
don't know if this is what they call a natural high, but I am absolutely buzzing right now. I don't even recognize some of these organs. What was that little round one? How many was that I offed? I counted at least three. I've actually seen the afterlife, and there wasn't anyone walking around all flaky and bony. Whew, I'm getting really into this whole murdering business. I'm so glad it's just a dream. Bloody hell. I nearly went arse over tit. Blood isn't normally that viscous. Bloody Nora. I nearly had a tumble. Blood isn't normally that viscous. Who is your captain now, creatures? Me. That's who. Did that make you a little seasick? Sure doesn't do well on the water. Ha! Well, look at me now, Evelyn! More fodder for my big, bad cannons! I will return you to the depths of the ocean! If you could just slither overboard, that would be great. You cannot even begin to comprehend the power of our weapons! I can't either. I'm almost surprised this doesn't shoot tentacles! At least you had an interesting death. Wait! We're blowing holes in the ship! Oh, we're not? Thank goodness for that. Now that I think about it, how did that statue get in here? I know. Magic. Magic. Woo! Seriously, that's solid stone. Even magic's gonna struggle with that. <sighs> ooh, ooh. Anyone else got a sudden chill? Uh, cocking. I ass. Uh, must. Break. Free. Uh, ah, this feels nice. I was running a bit of a fever. This is not how I die. I do not die a frozen a snack stick. Well, this is a predicament. The eyes are doing that thing again. Evelyn gave me looks like that. I died little inside every time. Stay away from its blast. Don't get caught in its sweeping gaze. Oh, how I wish I could still shoot beams from my eyes. Let's cause some subconjunctival hemorrhaging. I poke at thee. I. Poke at the I lacerated. Oh, shame. I was hoping for a full orbital fracture blowout. A corneal abrasion. Wonderful. Ah, a window of opportunity. Shoot it now. Attack the pupil. Pop it like a fucking balloon. Attack the pupil. Pop it like a balloon. Um, hello. I'd say now's the time to shoot the eye. What? Were we just inside the bloody iceberg that banged into us a little while ago? That settles it. No more medicine tonight. I've had enough of these hallucinations. <laughs> Scarlet Shield, it saved me! I live! I was spared! The eyes wrath could not penetrate! I'm alive? I'm in one piece? I do not die today! We mustn't let the eye reach full charge! Freezing hell! What's it up to now? Bloody Nora, what's it up to now? Shoot it! Don't let it charge! I don't trust it. It's looking at me funny. Come on, Shaw, think. Did Alistair ever mention anything about big balls? You know, it's funny. I just remembered I'm claustrophobic. Ah! You know, I'm beginning to regret signing up for this. There was no giant eye in the job description. I demand transparency. How much bloody shooting does it take to fell this terror? We've created some sort of portal hole magic. Or maybe it's just always been there and we just lack the means to access it. Something's wrong. The alchemical composition of the artifact has changed. You know what? I think that might be a transmutation circle. It's probably harmless. An orb from the stars. Who knows what hitherto unknown elements could be extracted from this. Oh, 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 oh. It must be worth a fortune. Not to fret. I'm sure this sort of thing happens more often than we'd think. Oh, an orrery. How lovely. It appears that artifact has transmogrified its chemical status yet again. Why are we letting the water back in? Isn't that a bad thing? And I mean a really bad thing on second thought? No. This, this, this just isn't for me. Uh, anybody want this? Would anybody care for a new weapon? This one's looking at me funny. Right then, who wants one on Stanton Shaw? Someone else want to take this? It's, it's, it's certainly not what I ordered. Perhaps one of the others will acquire you weapon, but not I. Yes, 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 yes. I think I've got it now. You require sacrifices. Okay, be right back. What? Really? You think I carry that kind of coin? Alistair, you devious son of a bitch. If this is all your way of collecting that 
bail money I still owe you. Alistair, you devious devil. If this is your way of collecting that bail money I still owe you... Ah, yes. The oldest chemical equation in the book. Fool plus money equals soon parted. Well, we certainly have the fool. I can't say I encountered this phenomenon in Cambodia. Though my pockets were just as empty then as they are now. The onion head and swan neck to move your vapour to the condenser. Ooh, a doorway. Well, maybe more of a window. Or perhaps a mirror. Oh, that's marvellous. Absolutely first class. Thank you so much. I'm very impressed. Oh, I would love to know how much rapid change was achieved. The weapon seems to travel through some sort of gateway. I wonder if we could travel through it. I would like to inspect these modifications more thoroughly, but I'm awfully busy trying not to be murdered. Excellent! The transmutation is complete. Oh, please. I've seen enough of the supernatural to know that it's all hogwash. Especially this. This isn't real. Have I told them about the side effects? I'm sure I did. Definitely. I distinctly remember saying, you do know there are side effects. Have I mentioned Prima Materia? I'm sure I have. It's everything. Or nothing. Or both. Hmm. I'm trying to remember Scarlet as a child, and I can't. Same goes for my own family, if I'm honest with myself. Oh. Shame on me! Right, this order took Alistair. Very devious, not good-willed. What do they want? What do we want? What do they know? What do we know? You won't recognize the symptoms because of the symptoms. Short-term memory. Uh, Long-term memory. <sighs> I feel... Oh, alive! <sighs> a huff and a puff and I'll blow their house down. <sighs> You've got a couple of bits of string hanging from your shirt. No, hang on. Those are your arms. <laughs> My brother, everyone. <sniffs> Whew. It's like getting a bit of snow up the nose. <sniffs> what was that? Hang on, give me a minute. <laughs> was there lithium in that? <gasps> oh, fuck me. That's left my synapses twitching like a bastard. God! Oh, whoa! That's left my synapses twitching like mad. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I breathed out when I meant to breathe in. <gasps> Time is relative. <coughs> my relatives won't even talk to me anymore. <gasps> oh, I should probably market this whole vapor thing. I'd probably make a killing. <laughs> Oh, honestly, this is actually very soothing. Oh, this is the most relaxed I've been in ages. <sighs> I'm not sure if this one's even working. I just feel... Uh, normal. <gasps> oh, that cleared the fog a bit. <clears throat> Maybe a bit too much. <sighs> oh, little sniff to straighten the body and the mind. Oh, wait, how did I get here? Am I on a boat? Is that the fucking ocean? <laughs> oh, little sniff to straighten the body and the mind. Wait, how did I get here? Am I on a boat? Is that the ocean? <gasps> oh my, it feels like my lungs have just doubled in size. <sighs> oh, you know, I'm already pretty nimble for a man of my age. <clears throat> just ask the squirrels. <sighs> oh. A hitherto untapped power has just awoken in my pants. I'm talking about my legs, specifically. <gasps> Whew, amazing how different you feel after a whiff of this. I reckon I could dominate a tiddlywinks right now. Careful. I could have someone's eye out with this. Ah, it's probably best if I hold on to this. Not sure the others can be trusted. Ooh, what is this? Is it rare? Is it valuable? Can I sell it? Ah, yes, of course. I need this. For later, I think. Oh, you know, there's a chance that this, this could prove to be the key to everything. Oh, this is just what I was looking for. That time I was lost. Ah, I should keep this, just in case we run into a real emergency. Oh, here's the thing. Ah, uh, yes. More stuff for my big steaming pile of stuff. No, oh, I hope this doesn't spontaneously combust. That happens way more often than you'd think. So, you have a role to play in this game, as do I. 
little trinket, as do I. This invention better work, Scarlet. I could really do with the help. When did you leave all this lying around, Scarlet? Scarlet should have made it more clear that some assembly would be required. I say, is that an intentional chemical reaction? Or just zombie heartburn? Ah! Oh, wait, no. That part of my skin's already burnt. Never mind. Oh, come now. I'm already half burned. All you meatheads need to do is finish the job. Steer clear of the hot ones. They pop like overcooked bangers. Oh, you really think a little flame will stop me? Dear boy, I catch fire every other Tuesday. Spontaneous combustion. I tell you, ghoul chemistry could win me a Nobel Prize if I live through this. Bloody Nora. This weapon just became considerably more heavy. Oh, I see. It's full of bullets now. Ammunition mysteriously materializes inside my weapon. Oh, that's impossible. Unless... No, that would require sulfur and a lot of bananas. Hmm. A voice commands it, and it happens. An order. An order from the great beyond. Wait, is that how the world works now? Fresh munitions! Come and get your fresh munitions! Ha! Um, I suppose I should be thanking you? Uh, thank you. Whoever the fuck you are. I suppose I should be thanking you. Um, thank you, whoever you are. Free money. No such thing. Even if you do receive sponsorship, they probably want something from you. My services usually come at a premium. Today, I'll make an exception. Thank you. I am, after all, working up a sweat over here. Wait, is that sweat? What the hell am I secreting? Thank you. I am, after all, working up a sweat over here. Wait, is that sweat? What am I secreting? I appreciate the remuneration. Clearly, I deserve it. The others, eh, not so much. You see, Evelyn, I am a rich man. A rich man indeed. Amazing. I just thought of it and it happened. Let me try again. No, nope, didn't work. Actually, hello, if you're doing renovations, my lab could really do with a bit of work. Oh, can you try banging a little quieter? It's making my eyeballs tremble. Honestly, I was going to do that. I just hadn't got around to it yet. Wait, what? How on earth are we playing for points? Points? Eh? Next, you'll be telling me there's a big giant scoreboard keeping track. Yes, yes, double points for all the, uh, all the, uh, murdering. Um, everyone else hears that, right? I mean, it's not just me, is it? No, I hear it too. Double the points, you say? Well, <sighs> when in Rome, I suppose. Fire sale? Bloody fire sale? What about the flood damage? Ah, if memory serves. This means we don't have to sell the family silver. The market is collapsing. Sell, sell, sell. Wait, no, that's not right. Buy from the box. Um, I don't understand. Is everything on sale because the ship is sinking? Something's happening. Ah, I think it's a good thing. A real money saver. Ooh, weapons are on sale. Dirt cheap too. Can anyone spare me a few shillings? Oh, I can feel that. I think I've been granted the touch of death. With this power, I could erase all my enemies from the world. I'd better get a move on. I've got a list as long as your arm. They're pretty much dead already. Right, I suppose I could give them a little nudge. Ah, the great beyond, I'm calling it that, by the way, provides us with a great and terrible power. <laughs> I think I could be about to win my first actual fight. Hmm, what if I could create a chemical concoction that could make this power permanent? Ooh, we could be gods! Whoa, what in the heavens was that? Am I on fire? Hang on a minute. How on earth did that cataclysmic explosion suddenly manifest out of nowhere? Whew. Was that me? Did I do that? How do I do it again? <coughs> <coughs> oh, last time I inhaled such a pungent odor, I had to relocate my laboratory. What manner of chemical interaction could lead to a combustion that targets only our adversaries? Frankly, I'm drawing a blank. What the hell was that? Did someone just cut a fucking atom in half? What was that? Did someone just cut an atom in half? That cheeky blue bastard is giving his friends a leg up. That cheeky blue fellow is giving his friends a leg up. <sighs> that blue wanker. He's making the worm brain stronger. <sighs> 
That blue fellow, he's making the worm brain stronger. What a naughty little shit you are. What a naughty little runt you are. So the wet ones strengthen the others. Hmm, makes sense. From an alchemical standpoint. Oh, that little blue rat's on my last nerve. Is that a water ghoul? I would love to get a sample. This one's racked with lightning. Hmm, I'm sensing an elemental theme emerging. Ah, my ears! My poor ears! Hello? Can anyone hear me? Am I deaf? Ah, like pissing on the third rail. Trust me, I've done it. Ah, damned lightning bug fried my nervous system. Ah, my heart, it ah, feels better than it has in years. Ah! Like a shotgun blast, an inch from my ear. Oh, yes, a retort pot. Maybe today won't be a waste. Don't lash out at me in anger if this hurts a bit, OK? I'm not going to ask how this happened, Bruno, but I'm guessing you put up a hell of a fight. I'm not going to ask how this happened, Bruno, but I'm guessing you put up a good fight. I never actually qualified as a doctor. <clears throat> But I know exactly what I'm doing. I know you do the same for me, Bruno. In, 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 in fact, I think you may have already. We all need a little helping hand now and again. I give myself one fairly regularly. Are you tired, Diego? Maybe I could prescribe you a little pick-me-up. <laughs> uh, you do know that you've probably ruined your nice trousers. I'm here to rescue you, Diego. Why do you look so worried? Do not worry, Diego. I am more than capable of saving you. <clears throat> I could even do the kiss of life if I had to. What are you doing there, Diego? Is it some kind of top secret mission? I'm down. I'm dying. Oh, the end. I see light getting closer. Oh, oh. finally. An end to this big charade we call life. Oh. I can't feel my legs. Are they gone? Oh, wait, there they are. Thank the Lord! I can't feel my legs. Are they gone? Oh, uh, wait, there they are. Whew. Can someone help me? I don't want to die on a boat! Buggered that right up, didn't I? Don't mind me. Oh, just having a little lie down, taking a break. Oh, resting the old calves, you know. Oh, I'm fine, honestly. Maybe we should try to look out for each other a little bit more. Hmm? Remember that summer back at the mansion when you climbed the big tree and fell out? No, wait, that was me. Oh, are you angry, Scarlet? I would be if I were down there just sat on my bum. I'll have you back on your feet in two shakes of a lamb's tail. I didn't get a good look at what happened. Were they armed with weapons? Ooh, yes. I feel very rejuvenated after that. Okay, enough time sitting on my ass. Better get back to the grind. Barely a scratch. Oh, shit. I hope it doesn't get infected. It looks a bit infected. Barely a scratch. Oh, no. I hope it doesn't get infected. Uh, it looks a bit infected. Ow! I didn't even see that one. They're so touchy-feely sometimes. How long was I out? Did I miss anything? You know, you are the nicest ex-gangster fugitive murderer French Foreign Legion deserter I have ever met. I think I just had an out-of-body experience. Much better than an out-of-medication experience. Thank you, Bruno. If I can ever return the favour, well... I'll try to be half sober when the time comes. I'm a bit poked up, if I'm being honest, Diego. Diego helps another. A selfless act. Who is this swarthy rogue with a heart of gold, hmm? There, I'm ready to write your next adventure. Sometimes, Diego, even I am amazed. I I'm still alive. Did you see which one got me? Cheeky bugger's going to pay. Well, that was a sobering experience. Which means it's time for more special vitamins. I think I must have tripped on something. Terribly sorry to cause a fuss. Did you see which one got me? All I saw was the floor rising up to smack my head. Yes, yes, you're quite right. This is no time for a nap. I was just about to drift off into that heavenly light. Or, or, or maybe it's just a uh, migraine coming on. At this rate, I'll owe more to you than your father when this is over. Blimey. There's a whole universe in there. There's some of her father in that, Scarlet. She's quite a clever one. Scarlet, forgive me if this is a personal question, but have you ever killed a man before? Wow, I remember you as a little girl. 
You could not do things like that. Oh, you got him right in the giggle mug, Scarlet. I know I should be concentrating on what I'm doing rather than watching you, but that was very impressive, Scarlet. I saw that, Scarlet. Your dad would be very proud. Uh, not that he dreamed of you growing up to shoot monsters in the head. I think your dad would almost probably be proud. Oh, don't get too keen on the rush, Scarlet. It can get addictive very quickly. Oh, that's right, girl. No mercy. None. Not even a teeny weeny bit. I didn't quite catch what you said, Scarlet. There was a lot of screaming going on. Scarlet's starting to look like the second most deadly woman I have ever met. Don't let them get too close, Scarlet. They may have the pox. Oh, Scarlet. Uh, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Concentrate on your breathing, Scarlet. You'll die if you forget to do it. Any minute now, you're going to do some cool combat maneuver and kill them all. Right, Scarlet? Scarlet? You've got to be aware of your surroundings, Scarlet. I kept bumping into my desk until I finally remembered where it was. Is it uh, too late to adopt a disguise, Scarlet? Maybe a shrubbery. Life and death all wrapped up in one handy package. Time to balance the scales of life and death. The sun never sets. Least not as long as I've got this little beauty. All right, maggot brains. Look at the birdie. Hello, Dr. Shaw is here to help. Well, not that I'm that type of doctor, nor the other type, really. <laughs> Ants meet magnifying glass. It heals our allies, it kills our enemies. Such a fine line to walk. Well, that's one way to burn out an infection. Don't you see? We are healing you. Healing you to death, sure, but still. Don't thank me all at once. Oh, feels nice in here. You know, if you're not already dead. The beacon of light, a noble guard, protector of our backsides. Pardon me while I set this to broil. Yes. The scepter of Ra feels ready to use. Ooh, feels like the scepter is ready to shine. Whoa! I could swear the scepter's built up an even more powerful charge. Why does it seem like we just made things worse? The artifact! Obviously key to initiating this madness, but can it help stop it? Oh, lovely. It's Evelyn in a physical object. Hope it has its driver's permit. My Evelyn once played songs like this. Then, one day... She stopped. That one seems a tad familiar. What a lovely arrangement. Oh, my. I almost wish I was hard of hearing. What did you say? Oh, it's not nice, is it? Very discordant. You know, I'm not exactly a savage beast, but that is doing nothing to calm me. Hello? Anyone else here? Just to be crystal clear, I don't want to hear from those of you who might identify as... Necrotic! That big stony thing I saw earlier looked really interesting. Smelled nice, anyway. Very aromatic. It's a bit brisk out tonight. Should probably put a coat on. Wait. What on Newton's balls is going on? <laughs> it's a bit brisk out tonight. Should probably put a coat on. Wait! What on earth is going on? Did you hear that? I did. Sounds a tad ominous, doesn't it? Yes, very! Oh my, my, a key. The key for, well, something opened via key. I'm sure. The downside to being made out of coal? You're pretty fucking combustible, I'll tell you that. The downside to being made out of coal? You're pretty combustible, I'll tell you that. Like carrying coals to Newcastle. That was you, mate. It exploded? Damn it. I was hoping to examine his remains. It exploded! Shame, I was hoping to examine his remains. Hoof it back to the hell you rose from! Fat lot of good that shovel did you! Um, maybe the fireman will be nicer this time? Ugh, another bloke with a shovel. I hope everyone likes fireballs! Fascinating! The creature seems composed of fire and coal. Well, terrifying really, but fascinating too! Bloody Nora! The fireman cometh again. Brilliant. He keeps bringing that shovel. May as well dig his own grave. Ah, a giant fireman wielding a shovel. Maybe he's friendly. Hmm. This really feels like Cambodia all over again, but with a lot more water. Why are you all so drawn to me? Do you think I have something for you? You can't all be hungry, can you? They swarm as one, driven by a singular goal, like a hive mind. 
like bees. I'm not afraid, even when death is staring down at me like a big eyeball. I'm curious. Do you ever turn on each other? Or is it only normal people you like? Trying to get rid of you is like trying to get rid of a bad smell. It takes time. And bleach! If you've all gathered around hoping for a cure, I have some very bad news for you. Oh, I haven't been this popular since I lived in the Limehouse District. I feel like the walls are closing in around me. Is this it? My final moments? Ah, I think I'm okay. What a marvelous chest. Why would the fireman have it? Ooh, another chest. Oh, joy. The mystery continues. <gasps> a third chest. Wonderful. Do we get the treasure yet? They're letting me carry something sharp and something explosive. Oh, well. I can't be held responsible for the consequences. Time to shred some shamblers. Or blast them. That works too. The Viper and the Dragon. Rather poetic names, don't you think? Come figure out which is which. Duh. From a faraway land to my achy, shaky hands. What could go wrong? Let's conduct a little experiment, shall we? Who gets the higher body count? Right. The blade and the pistol. How could I forget? Oh, a little tingle tells me the dragon and viper are ready to do far worse than tingle. If things go pear-shaped, there's always the viper and dragon. Wow, the range on this thing is certainly a nice touch, isn't it? Oh, too dead to answer. Feel the bite of my blade. I mean, whip. Wait, blade, whip. Whip blade. What? To shreds, all of you! Shreds! You must be this tall to ride this ship. Blades floppy, but performs like a champ. Good news for men of a certain age. Careful now, the viper's fangs are razor sharp. No, oh, it's not the bite that kills you. It's the fucking razor storm. It's not the bite that kills you. It's actually the razor storm. I shouldn't reuse these blades. Gotta be worse than dirty needles. How oh, deary. You didn't have the fish for dinner, did you? Oh, some punishments are worse than death. I control their gag reflex. I can induce vomit. I am a god! That right there is why moderation is important. I'd say now you know how I feel on a Sunday morning. But I haven't been capable of vomit in years. Ew, what's on my blade? <sighs> oh, I'm intimately familiar with that particular stench. <sighs> Maybe if I take a really deep breath, <gasps> I might be able to find a release valve somewhere down there. I think it would be in our best interests to drain the water. Should be a valve somewhere. Oh, bugger. Not these things again.